Hi. A filter can be thought of as part of an equaliser, and originally that's how it was. However, in modern music, filters can be found in all sorts of effects that have nothing to do with equalizers. In this video, I'll give you an introduction to plugins from Melder Production that can be called filters and are usually designed for some creative use, unlike equalizers, which generally serve as tonal controls. Before spending money, why not check out the free stuff? And the first plugin I'd like to present is M Band Pass. It may offer only two filters, a low pass and a high pass, but check out their slope. It can be as steep as 120 decibels per octave. Add two powerful modulators and you've got a serious sound filtering tool. To find out more about modulators, please watch the Modulators series. They let you modulate the filters by an LFO, signal level, pitch, etc. Not bad for a free plugin. Another guy who agreed to work for free is MComb. It has four independent comb filters. Usually we knit our brows when we hear about comb filtering, but not in this case. If you're a sound designer or experimenting musician, this is a tool for you. Don't forget that a comb filter is actually a delay, so you may think of MComb in many ways. It has heaps of options plus two modulators. In fact, I can't believe it's for free. MComb MB is a multiband version of MComb. It has even more power. Consider this, up to six bands crossover. Each band has four comb filters, smart randomization, four modulators, and you get an extremely versatile sound design processor. Moving textures, rhythmic pads, squealing sound effects, you name it, it can do the lot. Try it. It may be that special one that you were looking for. M filter is one more good choice. If you want to make a static sound dance, you can utilize up to six filters which may work in parallel or serial. Here you'll find a full classic set. Peak, shelf, bandpass, notch, and low high pass filters. However, their modulation is where the magic happens. There are four modulators to make things move. And of course, there are many active presets for those who don't find the courage to dive into all the options the plugin provides. This plugin works great on pads, strings, leads, well, just about anything. When it comes to a filter choice, no plugin can beat M Wobbler. 119 filters, ladies and gentlemen. Originally, it was designed to produce dubstep wobbling basses, but it became a monster filter, which can be used on any material. Two independent filters with distortion section, built-in highly customizable LFO sequencer, an envelope follower, four modulators, it's a huge force to make sounds moving. And of course, there are many active presets to make your workflow quick and simple. Finally, let me introduce the M vocoder. In simple terms, a vocoder is nothing but a bunch of filters and envelope followers. Not so with M vocoder though. There are many things this fellow can do, and I'd strongly recommend to watch the third part video tutorial about it. Forget robotic voices, it's just 10% of its capabilities. Coloration, distortion, resonator, even reverb, this thing can take on many tasks. Of course it has modulators too. So, there you have it. Six filter-based effects at your disposal. Demo them. They will boost your creativity a lot. See you next time. <laughs>